So what we going to talk about is what we call, normally we call a subnetting. I'll explain what that means. Okay. Subnetting, right? Yeah. It's just like saying subnetworking, so. Okay. Now what's subnetting? Subnetting is just, um, let me just take a classical example. Here, yeah. this is a house. Yeah. yeah, and we have a room here, another room here, another room here, and another room here. Four rooms, right? Mm. Let's assume this house represents a network. And this network can take four machines. Is that okay? Yeah. That's the size of the network. But you don't need four, uh, four, well, you don't need to have one network maybe it's like your own building so you have four rooms which is represented like four machines mm. but as a human being you can only sleep in one room right yeah so what will you do with the other three rooms what will you do with this what will you do with this and what will you do with this the idea is for you to maybe rent it out right yeah so the subletting is just like saying subletting like you 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 give out some of the place to rent Mm. or for rent is that clear yeah so the same idea you decide to give this to one family so one family comes they rent this and yourself and your family have this mm. so now you have two networks this one and this one right mm. does it make sense yeah. it was just one network you've divided into two networks mm. of two two rooms each is that clear yeah that's the idea of subnetting. So you have a big network, but you cannot use the network because there's a lot of IP addresses. So you have to break it down. Now, what do I mean? If you take a class C, 192.16.1.0, it is a network. Oh. Yeah, it's a class C, right? Yes. So the subnet mass will be 255.255.255.0. Fine. A class C network can have Basically, this is the network side, so we can only change this side, right? Yeah. So one up to 255, but 255 is will be the broadcast address. So we have one to 254 IP addresses. Is that clear? Yeah. Does it make sense? Yes. So we have 192.168.1.1 up to 192.168.1.254 as the usable range. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Which means we have 254 machines in the network or 254 IP addresses that we can allocate in your network, right? Yeah. But what if your network has only 20 machines? It means we are wasting IP addresses. We, it means we wasting some of, we could have gone from 1 to 20. Yeah. Do you get what I mean? We could have gone from 1 to 20 and have a new subnet mask and then use the rest of the network for something else. Does it make yeah. sense? Yeah. And that's the concept of subnet. That's why I painted a picture. You have a house and then you use some of it and you leave some of it. Mm -hmm. Now, so basically you have a big network with the normal default subnet mask, but you cannot use all the IPs. So you want to reduce it and use only the relevant or the efficient number of IPs that you, you you may want to use in order for you not to waste IP addresses. Is that clear? Yeah. yeah. Now, so the first thing you do, again, everything we do here is about steps. Let's say you go with the same network, 192.168. You can be writing as I do this. It's our default subnet mask. So we have this. We purchase this IP address. Let's say we purchase this IP address. Yeah? Yeah. But in your network, you have only 15 machines. Let's do it 12 machines or 13. So we have only maybe 14 machines, right? Yeah. What does it mean? It means that this 14 machines can be translated into 14 usable IPs, right? IPs, yeah. Does it make sense? Yes. So we have 14 usable IPs, but every network has a network address. So you have you also need one IP for your network address. Does it make sense? Yes. And you also need one IP for your broadcast address. Does it also make sense? Yep. So technically, how many IPs do you need? Rather than 14, you need how many? 
16 IPs. Is it 16? Okay, I was thinking it's 15 IPs. Yeah, because 14 usable, one for network address, one for broadcast. Okay, okay. Yeah. So okay. it is 16 IP 16, address. 16, yes, 16 IP. Yeah. Okay, now, um, first of all, if we translate this by, uh, the, uh, subnet into subnet mask, into binary, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Yeah? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And then how many zeros? Eight zeros. Yeah. Do you get what I'm doing? Yeah, I'm guessing it. If you don't get it, you need to tell me because what I'm doing is very, very important. I mean, mm. you know why it is all ones? Yeah, I know why it's called ones. 255, 255, 255, 255, 255, yeah, 255, 255, that's, a, that's mm. why it's called one. All right. So let's see what happens then. Now, this is what we're going to do. So this side, yeah? Mm. This side, all the ones represent the network side, if you remember. Yes. Well, to represent the network side, right? Yeah, request side. And this side yeah. represents which side? The host. The host, yeah. Yeah. Now, we're saying that we need how many IPs? 16 IPs. Mm, yeah. So we're going to be carrying it from here. If we translate this into uh, binary 16, this is what we have to do. There's a formula. You do 2 power 1. Well, we start with 2 power 0. So 2 power 0, 2 power 1, 2 power 2, 2 power 3, 2 power 4, 2 power 5. So what's 2 power 1? 2 power 0 is 1. 2 power 1 is 2. It's 2. This is 4. This is 8. eight. This is 16. 16. This is 32. 32. Now, what we're going to do here, can I clean this? We know it's 14, right? Yes. So what we're going to do here is the steps. The first step for you to do this is to first of all if you want to create a new subnet you need to identify or um, calculate step one you need to calculate your customized subnet mask because this subnet mask will give you 254 but we need something that will give us around 16 customized subnet mask is that okay okay now, in order for you to do it, this is where this process comes in. First of all, don't worry, it will become second nature. You need to, um, this is part of it again. So this is the same thing. You need to find um, find the number of bits, the number of bits, which means two is the power n. n is the number of bits. Okay. Yes. The number of bits. So the number of bits that will give the number of IPs you want. Is that okay? Okay. Does it make sense? Yes. So basically, we're looking for the, the power that will give us equivalent of the 16 we're looking for. Is that okay? So 2 power 0 will not give us 16. So if you look there, we get here. So what do you think the number of bits is? That's the end value. So what's the number of bits? Four, because that's it. So we were looking for a number that will give us 16. So this number, and when we saw it, it's four, right? Yes. <clears throat> Does it make sense? Yes. Okay, so this four is just telling you that, so now from this example, you can say we have four bits. Is that okay? Yes. We have four bits. <clears throat> what do we do with the four bits? The four bits represent represent the host part of your network. Okay. Or subnet mask. Subnet mask. What do I mean? <clears throat> So on the left side, that's the network side, and the right side is the host side, right? And we're saying that we need four bits. It means we need four, only four zeros. This one, we start counting from the right, because that's where the host are. Count from the far right. Three, okay. four. Is that okay? Yeah. Now, the next step is to change the rest of the subnets, like, like this one, 
the ones that are left on the host side, you change it mm. to one because now they become part of the network. Okay. Does it make sense? Yes, yeah, making sense. So because we say the network is made up of host, uh, the, the subnet must made up of the network side and the host side. And yeah. this at the beginning, this was the network side, but we saw that this would give us 250 something, but we need only 16. So how many zeros do we have to keep to get the 16? Is that clear? Okay, and okay. And what we did, That's... we realized that we need only four. Four zeros. That's why we started counting from the right. So if it's only four, what happens to the rest of them? These are going to be changed to ones because it's either a host or a network. So if it's no more a host, then it becomes a network. Does it make sense? Yep. So that means the new subnet mask will be 255, 255, 255, and then 128192224240. Does it make sense? Because yes. if you remember this, 128 plus... 64, 64 plus, plus 32, 32, 32, 32, 32. That's 240. So that's yeah. the new custom subnet mask. So then we'll say that after you find the number of bits, the sec okay, so I'll say find the number of bits. The second thing is to um keep the number of bits for your host. Is that okay? Okay. For host, meaning this step. And then the rest, the rest will become ones. Is that okay? Yeah. It become ones. And uh, the next step will be convert back to, to decimal. decimal. Does it make sense? Making sense. Okay. So you convert back to decimal, and now we have our subnet mask. Now, now, the same thing you've been doing with the subnet mask, you can find your broadcast, your word card mask and use that to find your broadcast address. Is that okay? So let's yeah. assume that we're going with what we have on screen. So our network address is still 192.168.1.0 as our network address, right or wrong? Yeah. Right. And our subnet mask, the new custom subnet mask, 255. Can you tell me? 255. Mm-hmm. That's two five five. Mm -hmm. That's two four zero. Two four zero. That's the customized subnet mask. Is that okay? Yeah. So same old same old story. We need to find our broadcast address, and our broadcast address is equal to your network address plus your word card mask. Word card mask. And the word card mask is equal to global subnet mask. Minus yeah, that's your yeah, the subnet mask is now the custom subnet mask because it's, this is our new subnet mask. Is that okay? Okay, okay, yeah. So that'll give you a white card mask. The same thing, just that we're using a new subnet mask because we're using a small size. Mm. Now, when we do that, we have 255.255.255.255 minus 255.255.255.240. Mm. This will be zero. Zero zero fifteen. This is our word card mask. Is that okay? Mm, yeah, yeah, yeah. And when we had we added to the network address, so one nine two one six eight one dot zero plus your word card mask zero 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 fifteen. Mm. You get one nine two one six eight one dot fifteen as your broadcast address. Is that okay? Yeah. Um if I can clean this, can I clean this? Yeah, you can clean that part. Yeah. So, um, do you want me to clean this side also? I'm uh, pretty. Yeah, you, you can clean the left hand side. Everything that okay. part. I'm just listening to this part. I've not written yet. Okay, sure. So now we know our broadcast address, right? Yeah. We know our network address. So our network address is still one nine two one six eight one dot zero, and our broadcast address is one nine two. One six eight one dot. Tell me broadcast address. Pardon? What's the broadcast the address? Broadcast, uh, one um, dot one five. Dot fifteen. Yes. Uh, so what will be yeah. the usable range? The usable range will be from. Mm -hmm. Um. Dot one. Mm -hmm. To. To. One nine two. Dot one six eight. Mm -hmm. dot one mm -hmm. dot 14. 
14. Can you see that we have only 14 IP addresses yeah. for your machines? Yeah. This plus this will give us the 16 because mm. the network address and the broadcast address. Can you see yeah. that we're not using a lot? Mm, yeah. Rather yeah. than the beginning when we're using this subnet mask and we're using up to 254. Yeah. We only need 15. So this is subnetting. What does subnetting do? Subnet, that's why I was telling you the last time. What does what did I say about subnet mask? I said subnet mask tells you how big your network is. Yeah. Have you realized that with the help of the subnet mask, we're able to see how big this network is? Yeah. And look at the two subnet masks. One is two five five two five five two five five zero, and the other one is two five five two five five two five five two four zero. Hmm. Is that clear? Yeah, it's clear. Any confusion? <laughs> no, there's no confusion. Hmm. As I said, I'll try as much as possible to make it lively, to make it easy for you to understand. So yeah, we'll keep going, going, and going, and going. But as I mentioned, you don't need to worry your head. You, all you have to do is just make sure you're understanding what we're doing. Yeah. Is that clear? Yep, it's clear. So what we'll do here is we'll pick some examples. I don't want to, over this is like, it's a simple thing because you need this to do something else for me. Mm. I keep saying, oh, you need this to do something. And we keep going forward and forward and forward. But you really need this to do something for me in the next session. You, okay. So this is something that I would want you to understand. Yeah, OK. Is that OK? Yeah. I'm going to pick an example here. Okay, can I just uh, quickly just uh, jot down? Yeah, yeah, sure. So if you go, uh, if you just go back to the screen where you wrote, just uh, yeah. Yes. Okay. okay, just a few minutes. Okay, I'm done. Okay. So, yeah. So, I can clean this, yeah? Yeah, you can clean it. You can clean it. Oh. Oh. You know, I just, I just realized uh, mm -hmm. my couple, since, since, since I started, um, since we did the calculation for subnet max and yeah. wildcat max, yeah. yeah. I don't know what, if I see, I, I saw, an IP address on my TV. Yeah. You know, like, I said, I can't I was like, wow, this. <laughs> <laughs> Some of you think you're going crazy, you know. You just switch on your TV right then. <laughs> I'll tell you. you. When the is exposed to you, it's like at the beginning, you never knew about it. it Chris, I'm telling you, it'll get to a point to be like, oh man, I've been seeing all these things around. I never even thought of it. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's just because now you're becoming familiar with what you're doing. And this is very, very much needed. Yeah. So, so far as you're doing it, you'll be, exp you'll be experiencing lots of shock. Trust me, this is it's nothing compared to what you're going to be seeing. I'm telling you. You're right. Compared to what you'll be seeing, you've not even seen anything yet. Mm -hmm. uh, very soon you start seeing things and you ask yourself questions like how is that possible what's happening and all that but as i mentioned it's a journey you get it yeah. so look at this we need 28 ips can you write down these numbers for me because i'm going to use it okay Usha, is it ip address yeah, IP, yeah. okay um I think one seven one seven two dot five zero dot zero dot zero. Need how many hosts? They said twenty eight. Twenty eight. And then the IP address is one seven two fifty dot zero dot zero. Yeah. Yeah. The first thing you have to know is that we need two IP addresses. So basically, this is what it means. 
if you've done a bit of maths before, the form the reason why I say you need to is like the formula itself was two n minus two is equal to twenty eight. Yeah. Mm. Don't worry, you don't need to understand it. I've already explained this to you that you add two to it because you need one for net and one for broadcast. So yeah. if you do this, it's equal to twenty eight plus two. Do you remember this formula? Yes. Move something. It becomes twenty eight plus two. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. The reason why we do this is that we're taking out the network address and the broadcast. So it's saying that we need a number which will give us some number of bits. When we take mm. two from it, we get twenty eight. Which means that if we add two to it. We get 30, right? Yeah, that, yeah. This is 30. That's why I always say 30. So sometimes you will see this. And sometimes you see this. This is 28, but this is 30 because I added a two. It shouldn't confuse you. Does it make sense? Yeah. Are you sure? I'm sure. Okay. Because some people it confuses them. That's why I don't do that. Okay. So first of all, what's the default subnet mask? Um 255. 255. <coughs> Dot two five five. Yeah. Dot zero dot zero. How did you know? Because it's last B. Have you seen that you're growing? <laughs> Have you realized you're growing? Yeah. Uh -huh. Now, so we need 30, 30 IPs. You know why? Because one for network and then one for broadcast address. Is that okay? Mm, okay, okay. Let's okay. compare this to binary, the subnet mask to binary. Mm, 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 okay. One, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah. yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah. Are we there? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Now, how many bits do we need to get 30? So let's try here. Okay. 2 power 0, 2 power 1, 2 power 2, 2 power 3, 2 power 4, 2 power 5. This will give us one. One, two, four, eight, eight, sixteen. Two. We cannot two. use this. We cannot use any of them, but we can use this because this gives us at least thirty-two, right? So at least we don't okay. get in the thirty. Sorry, just, sorry, Mr. Job, just a second. I, my child, I think it's quiet. Just a minute, please. All right. Sorry. Oh, I'm back. All right, sure. Yeah. One second. Okay. Okay. Let's move on. Yeah. Now, I'm saying that we cannot use any of them, but we can use 32 because it's close to 30. 16 is not enough IPs. Yeah. At least we're not wasting a lot. We're doing only 32. Is that clear? Yeah. And how many bits do we need to get 32? Five. Five bits. So it means we're going to shade five, right? Yeah. For the host. So I'll say that um, five bits for host. Is that okay? Yes. If there's any confusion, tell me, Chris, because we're making no. progress. No, there's no confusion. OK. And then we change this to ones, right? Yep. Can you see we're changing all the rest of the zeros to ones? Because yep. they are no more needed as host. Mm. So what will be the new subnet mask? 255, 255, 255, 128, 192, 224, yes? Yeah, yeah. This is the new custom subnet mask. Mm. Are we okay? Yes. Okay. Now, the rest of the process, you know it already. We need our broadcast. So, our broadcast will be network address plus word card yes, mask. Word card mask. And our word card mask again is global subnet mask minus no, no, cost, custom. custom subnet mask. Yeah. yeah, yeah. That'll give us the word card mask. Yeah. What is our global subnet mask, Chris? Uh, 255. Mm -hmm. 255. Yep. 255. Mm -hmm. 255. Yeah. And then what's our custom subnet mask? 255. Mm -hmm. 255. Yeah. 255. Yeah. 224. 224. So what do we have? Um, zero. Yeah. 
yeah. And then the last one will be dot thirty one. Yeah, dot thirty one, yeah. It is a word card mask. Now, mask, when yeah. we add it to our network address, our network address is 172. 50. Dot, 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 dot zero. zero. Dot and our word card mask is 0. 0.0.0.31. And yeah. when you add them, what do we get? What's what seven seven? Seven? Yeah, tell me. 50. Dot, 50.0.31. That's our broadcast address, right? Yeah. So tell me now, this is your 10. You're going to tell me the usable range. Mm. So 50.0.0. No. Your broadcast address is one seven two fifty fifty dot zero. That's so this is the address. This mm. is our broadcast address. Yeah. Are you okay with the colors I've been using? No, I'm okay with the colors. It's fine. Because sometimes I feel like maybe the colors are distracting you, but I also use that so that it makes it. No, no, this is very, it's very okay. Okay, sure. Yeah. So the usable range will be. Tell me, Chris. Um, one seven two. Mm hmm. Dot fifty. Yeah. Dot zero. Mm -hmm. Dot one. Up to. Up to one seven two. Mm -hmm. Dot fifty. Yeah. Dot zero. Yeah. Dot thirty. Yeah. So this is your usable range. Is it difficult, Chris? Uh, no. It looks like a simple thing, but. As I said, we will. Yeah, it's, 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 it's a bit tricky. But, yeah, it's uh, tricky because, first of all, you need to. So, the only thing you have to do is find the number of bits and then use the number of bits to find your new custom subnet mask. Once you find a custom subnet mask, you're back to the same things you were doing. Because mm. custom subnet mask is just subnet mask, just that it's using particular number of bits to yeah. create it. That's all you need to know how find the number of bits. Once you find the number of bits, then you can find your. You can shade these ones and then the rest become ones and then you have your custom subnet mask then you can go on and find your broadcast address and usable range yeah so the only added step is your custom subnet mask so that, that will be gotten by using your the number of bits is it confusing no it's not you sure yeah okay. i'm sure so I'll give you one, we'll do it here, and then I'll give you what you have to go and practice. As I said, it's not a matter of how long you stay with me, but it's a matter of, because what we're using, what we're going to use this for next week, well, I, I not next week, it could be tomorrow, depending on. Mm. Yeah, tomorrow I'm free, because my wife will be, she's okay. off tomorrow, so. Sure. Yeah, so tomorrow. maybe you see that we'll start using this, and you'll be able to understand this. You'll be like, oh, this makes sense, this makes sense, this makes sense, you get it. Yeah. You see, they are talking about number of hosts here, number of hosts, number of hosts here. So you would have to come up with proper subnet masks that will be able to be used here. Because we're yeah. using the same, you'll see, don't worry. It's like you have one network, but you're going to divide it among three networks. Is that clear? Yeah. Yeah, that's what subnetting is. We'll, we'll see that, don't worry. But before you can do that, you should be able to do this step. Is that clear? Yeah. Let's pick this number. One more example, this one. We need how many hosts? 16. 16 or 210. Okay. Can I clean this, Chris? Yeah, you can clean it. Any confusion up to this point? Uh, no confusion. So 210, 10, 0, and uh, 16 hosts. So how many IPs do we need? Uh, uh, 18. And what's the subnet mask? Um, uh, 255. Yeah. The 255. Mm-hmm. The 255. Yeah. So three five five, yeah? Yeah, 3255. One IP for broadcast address. So this is Y. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. So two five five, 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 two five five,
yeah. So what's the first step? We know we need 18 IPs. What's our first step, Chris? Tell me. Uh, and I'll forever be adapted to you. We'll calculate the number of bits. The number of bits. Yes. And how do we do it? So this is 18 IP. So we do 2 power 0, 2 power 1, 2 power 2, 2 power 3, 2 power 4, 2 power 5. Five this yes. is 1, 2, 4. Uh, don't worry. Yeah. You, you keep doing this. You don't have to say that, oh, this is too long. Just do it. Can yeah. we use this? No. Can we use this? No. This? No. This? No. This? Uh, I think we can use 16. We need 18, Chris. Oh, okay. No, we can use. Okay, we so can, use can we use this? Yes. Okay, so you see? We get in there. And how many host bits do we need? Five. Five bits for the host. For host. Okay. So what do we have to do? We translate our subnet mask that we have into binary, this one, into binary, mm. to binary. Is that okay? Yes. And when we do that, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Oh, sorry. Wait, one, one. Yeah, I was tricking you, Chris. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And the last one, one, two, one, three, three, four, four, four five, six, seven, eight. eight. How many bits do we need? Five, five. bits. And the rest will become ones, right? Ones, yeah. And then we convert to decimal. Decimal. What do we have? Two five five. Yeah. Dot two five five. Yeah. Dot two five five. Yeah. Dot two two four. Dot two two four. How do we call this custom subnet? Subnet mass. Yeah. So this is our custom subnet mass. I think from here you should be able to do it. So we're looking for our broadcast address. Broadcast address. That's um network. Network. Address plus uh, wildcard card. mass. And your wildcard mass is equal to? Wildcard mass is equal to zero. Global. Global subject mass. You see, uh, now it's becoming part of you now. <laughs> well, That's custom subject mass. How do you feel? Does it become easier? Yeah, it, yeah, yeah, it's becoming easier. Yeah, that's the idea. I, I want to make sure you understand what you're doing, Chris. Your journey is very important for me. When you don't sleep, I don't sleep, Chris. 255, 255, 255, 255. What do we get? 0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0
we're trying to prevent wastage. In binary, okay. there's nothing like 18. So you have two. So we have two, four, eight, sixteen, thirty-two. That's so true. the best okay. one's thirty-two. Is that okay? Okay, 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 okay. Okay, can I those shots, please? Okay. Okay, I think that's, I'm okay now. Is that okay? Yes. It's okay. All right. Yeah. Can I clean it? Yes, please. Any more question for me? Uh, not not yet. Really? <laughs> because what I have for you is something for you to go and do. Okay. So you're saying you have no question, then that's that means that we're getting close to finishing it for today. Because as I mentioned. This concept is a concept that we're going to be using next week. Well, not next week, then next time for okay. something very, very important. And if you don't get that, that will be a problem. You get what I mean? Yeah. If you don't get that part, that will be a very big problem. Mm. That's something that is going to hold your life in networking. It's going to hold right. your life in networking, yeah. And I believe you fine. And also, oh. um, before any time you come in, make sure you're revising all the old ones. Okay. From day one up to the place you are. Yes. From day one up to the even with the IP addresses like classes, keep going yeah. over it from day one. Yeah. The reason I'm saying this is it's about reinforcement. Yeah. The more you do it, it becomes easier, and then the next thing will become easier the next time. The next thing will become easier the next time. Do you get it? Mm. Don't, yeah. don't don't waste any opportunity to do revision. Every day right. start from page one. Every day start from page one. So yeah. Don't say that, oh, maybe you're on this topic, so I'm doing this topic. No, start from page one. Every day right. start from page one when you're revising. Start from All page right. one. Is that okay? Yeah. When you do that, you cement your knowledge and no one can take that away from you. Mm. I've been doing this for a long time, so I know what I'm saying. Um, let me stop. 